Hello everybody, this is Don with Evangelism Outreach Ministries. I'm kind of hanging out uh, tonight, laying a little bit low. I'm with my daughter, uh, Caitlin. Caitlin Wells. And uh, we just got some uh, Chick-fil-A food. And we're going to uh, be coming up here to the pier where we're going to see if we can find some uh, local street preachers and join up with them. Uh, be inter interesting to see how well the the message projects across the street as we approach them. But Andrew and Mike and Latimer are uh, up here at the corner, and we're going to be uh, videotaping them and, and seeing uh, what they're up to. Uh, it's a really nice night. It's not too hot. Um, it's uh, absolutely very, very pleasant tonight. Actually, I can hear Mike preaching right now. He's really belting it out. Someone is approaching. Yep, he's videotaping Mike. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a pretty good coverage. Yeah. That's a pretty good coverage. So here's the uh, St. Petersburg. Entrance to the St. Petersburg Pier. And uh, we just got here. I just got here with my daughter, Caitlin. And uh, there's Mike over there preaching. He's my son-in-law. Andrew's to the left holding the sign. And Vladimir's there. He's a new convert. And uh, we're actually going to be baptizing him a, a week from Saturday. I didn't see that one.
Who? Who are they? Oh. I can share time with you. Oh, they're switching right now. I'll just keep it on. Um, you, you take your time and eat, and I'll um, eat after you're done. And we'll switch. Keep going. It's going. Yeah, there were some people that looked like them back there, but I was like, oh, they're not them. Well, I'm not walking. Connection is bad. They didn't get your phone. My connection doesn't work very well.
Up next is Andrew. Like Vladimir is watching on the equipment and holding a sign. How's your salad? <laughs> I got the camera on me. <laughs> I didn't know if you click it two times. It flips the camera.
Amen.
Amen. Amen.
They were not the past couple weeks, so. Get your blood pressure.
I think he's drunk. Sit, sit, stay sitting right here. Right. When you go over there, want me to sit here? Yeah. you feel safe. I feel safe right here. Paul or Okay. Right.
me know if you need a snack or anything, I'll get it for you. Whatever you need, I'll get it for you. I'm coming out here more often knowing that there's somewhere to sit. Yeah, it's nice. The shade's great. Yeah. Uh-huh. I could even be the one videotaping. getting ready to go preaching on the street. Like someone's talking to Mike and my dad. Thank you. 
I think they're turning up the music behind me.
Alright, looks like my dad's going up. I need to throw away my trash. Vladimir. I thought I'd stand up. I've been sitting a long time. Yay. You do a good job over here. <laughs> huh? Did anybody say anything to you? because Mike's phone's dead. All right, here you go. It's on still. Okay. Um, how do you take your case off? Do you put the microphone on? Oh, yeah. Just please it's, don't it's drop still it. It's still on. Oh, it's still on? You don't want to finish that? Um... You know what I do? I just hold it. Oop. Yeah, you can't rotate. Once you start at a certain angle, you have to. How I'm much gonna, battery life? Can you still plug it? I'm gonna in? finish yours. Just finish it and start a new video. I would just uh, keep on going. Just put it up there. Okay, but I can't. I can't change the angle. I'll figure something out. Yeah, just, I'll just hold you like this. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can go like that. Even like that. Okay. I mean, it's up to you. Please. I got gotcha. you. And if you, and you, can you put the speaker in this? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Andrew, can you hold this? And then... oh, oh, okay. I have a paper. I the question is, what will you do with this message of salvation? What will you do with this message of hope and reconciliation with God? Many people in America today would rather go the other way and turn a blind eye and turn their ears and their eyes away from the truth of God's Word rather than submit to the authority of God's Word. The question is, what are you going to do with the glorious truth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? This is a message of the gospel that has eternal consequences for your soul. Now, think about this for a moment tonight. When you think about eternal eternity, when you think about everlasting life, what do you think about? It's important to know that when God created man in his own image and likeness in the very beginning, he did not make us to die. That's right, he created us to live forever and ever as his people. That was the original intent and design of God was to create a people that would worship him and serve him for all of eternity. And this is why we have souls that go on and on and on. Once we are created, we are going to live forever and ever and ever. If you think about eternity, that is a long time. The question is, how long is eternity? And are you willing to risk everlasting life for the pleasure of sin for a season. You see, there is a day of reckoning that's coming 
from Almighty God that created you and created me. There's a day of reckoning, there's a day of judgment, there's a day of accountability where we're all going to give an account before the God of all creation. The question is, when you are brought before the throne of God to give an account for yourself, what are you going to say? You see, there's many people that have lived since the beginning of time yes, who have rejected the gospel of the Lord Jesus. This is the only way of salvation. The message of the gospel is the only way of everlasting life. It's the only way for you to be reconciled to God. It's the only way for your sins to be forgiven. It's the only way that you can be made right with a holy, righteous, and loving, and just God. You see, there is a penalty for our sin, and this penalty is death, both a physical death and a spiritual death. This is why we live very short lives, but know this, though we live short lives here on this side of eternity, our souls will live on and on and on forever. The question is, are you going to be in eternity in the arms of Jesus, in the glory of heaven, in the new heavens and the new earth that will come after this heaven and earth passes away? Or will you find yourself on the other side of eternity in hellfire? That's right, this is something with eternal consequences. Think about it for a moment. What it would be like to spend an eternity in paradise. What would it be like to spend an eternity in the presence of the God of all creation? And compare that with what you think it might be like to be in hellfire, to be in the lake of fire. There is a drastic difference places. One is a place of blessing. One is a place of prosperity. One is a place of everlasting life. One is, one is a place of peace and joy. Everlasting life and victory. And yet the other place is full of death, hell, and destruction. The lake of fire is no place for anybody to be. And yet many people today in America would rather rebel against God and defy his word than to submit themselves to him and have everlasting life. In the city of St. Petersburg, we know one thing. There's not a lot of saints in St. Petersburg. That is evidenced by all the drunkenness and all the murder and all the mayhem of all the drugs and the alcohol, the drunkenness, the theft, all the things that God hates. Think about all the adultery going on in the city of St. Petersburg and all the fornication going on in the city of St. Petersburg. Think about all the aborted babies in the city of St. Petersburg that will never live to see the light of day. Think about all the violence, all the lawlessness in the city of St. Petersburg and around the world. Look at Portland, Oregon. Look at Washington, D.C. Look at Chicago. Look at all these areas around the world where there's just decadence, death, hell, and destruction. This is no way to live, and yet this is the way of the ungodly. This yes, is the way of does. those people that shake their fist at God. This Thank is you. the way for those people who choose to live their life. Instead of bowing their knee to King Jesus, they would rather enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. Know this, though there might not be many saints in St. Petersburg, as evidenced by all the lawlessness and crime, there's only one way to make a difference in this city. There's only one way to make a difference in Portland, Oregon. There's only one way to make a difference in Kenosha. 
There's only one way to make a difference in Washington and Chicago and Baltimore. In fact, there's only one way to make a difference around the world and in the heart of each and every person on this earth today. The only one that can make the difference in your life is Jesus Christ the Lord. And we're here tonight to tell you the glorious truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ the Lord. It's high time that we as Americans pick up the Bible and start reading it for ourselves. But you know, if you pick up the Bible and you read it, but you don't live out what you're reading, what good is it? It's important for us as Americans to pick up the Bible again and to read it for ourselves. It's important to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ that we might be saved. It's important that we pick up the Bible and find out what a bunch of sinners we are, a bunch of sinners that deserve hellfire. It's time that we pick up the Bible and learn about the grace and mercy of God. God is Jesus Christ alone. Oh, I need a mask. No, you don't need a mask if you don't want, but, but I don't believe in but Anyway, what you're doing is, is awesome. Thank you. I am a, a, a Christian. I'm born again. Okay, awesome. Um, it took me to go to prison in 2007, and I got out in 2012. And God saved me from a 30-year sentence. Wow. And nobody died. And it, whatever. But... Uh, what you guys are doing is, is, is okay. It's awesome. Thank you. And how it's were awesome. you uh, saved when we were born again? What's that? Um, you know how the Bible says uh, you must be born again. You must be born again. Right. And I was. So how were you born? How were you born again? I was in a, a, a shower with a razor after they elevated it uh, to a first degree felony, yeah. and I was ready to right. go both sides, right. like clean up the mess. Yeah. And I prayed to God, and he gave me a couple of scriptures that I had in my heart, but it was, like, buried deep. Yeah. I'd backslid. And he, he said, by his stripes were healed, right? And he said, all things work together for good to those who love God and who are called for his purpose. And then he gave me Isaiah uh, 54, uh, 19. It says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every word that rises against me shall be condemned. And he gave me all these scriptures. But then he gave me the one that makes the most sense. Yeah, yeah, right. That makes sense. Yeah. He, he, gave me, he gave me the best one. John 3, 16. Amen. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son. And as soon as I, as, yes, as soon as I went through all those scriptures, yeah. The dogs came back through the back door. They smelled smoke. Yeah. You can't smoke in jail. Yeah. And they had a shakedown. Yeah. I don't know if you know what that right. is. Yeah. And the cop uh, yells at me and says, lay down, and I'm naked. Yeah. Lay down on the ground, put your hands on your head, and we'll get back to you in a minute. Yeah. Don't move. I'm like, cool. Yeah. They saved me. And that was God. 
that was God. You know, so, you know, the police are not evil. They're not good either, sometimes, depending. But they just got to follow the law. But when, when, when you're taking care of yourself and uh, you're helping other people and, and you're doing what Jesus said to do, guess what happens? They leave you alone. They leave you alone. Now, just because I don't know your full story and everything, just encourage you. Uh, you know, in Second Corinthians five, or First Corinthians five seventeen, bring it on. Uh, it says, "If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation." He's a new, new creation. creation. That's new creation. right. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. So make right. sure you're living as a new creature in Christ. Make sure right. uh, you know you're truly changed in the heart, right. and you start living for the Lord. And, right. um, just make sure you you serve the Lord and obey Him. And, you're right, and and Paul I said, "I read the Bible daily. That's how we. Yeah. That's how we get through life. That's how we stay on the straight and narrow way that leads to life. Is to read our Bible daily and pray. So just yes. encourage you stay in the and word. And I. That's why I go to Spall Beach. Yeah. That's my mecca. That that's my my meditate. You know, the old Spall Beach when they had the inverted uh, pyramid. That was my first job. Was uh, uh, the pizza place. Okay. Alessi's. And I was making twelve fifty an hour at twenty three years old. I was like, yeah. had it going on. Yeah. And then I met a chick. Yeah. That's where it went awry. And uh, you know, mother of my kids and, and stuff like that. And I love my kids. And I still I forgive her yeah. for everything. And, but uh. But it's a peaceful protest, and it's awesome. Yeah. It's, I mean, we're not necessarily even protesting. We're just out here sharing the gospel. That's it. That's it. That's but in it. a sense, it is. You peace. Know. Yeah. Right there. That's the word. Peace, man. Right. That's Jesus what I try to live in, right. is, is, is peace. Right. And, and, you know, share with others the gospel. Uh, yeah. When, when I go around people, I can sense hostage, like, like hostility. It's uh, called discernment. Yeah, right. You know, but Paul said contentment is much gain. Because contentment without crisis? No, contentment is much gain. Yeah. He was talking, no, he was talking. I can't remember the specific verse, but yeah. But I, 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 I don't know it either. But uh, it's in there. But he said, you know, I've been content with much and I've been content with nothing. And, and he was uh, exiled to the island of Patmos. Yeah. No, actually, that was John. My yeah, bad. John. Yeah. yeah, that was John. But, uh... <laughs> He's telling the truth. Yeah. Well, the truth is a hard truth. People don't want to hear it's it. A, it's, you know? it's, it's tough love. Yeah, it's tough love. You know? Um, you know, it's, uh, it's okay. It's good. Yeah. It's yeah. good. I mean, I don't mind. And in order to tell men of their need for Jesus Christ, you have to tell them of their sin, of the sin that holds them down, the sin that condemns them and just going right. to them to hell. You right. Not tell them to be set free from that sin. Right. But we're living in a day right now where we need to start telling people about what's coming in the future. Yeah. Because right, it's in Revelation, and it's in Matthew chapter 24. Yeah. Jesus is coming again soon. He is. He's coming. We need to tell yeah, man to repent it. for the kingdom of God. Is that right. Him? And and, and Jesus. people called me crazy because I was living out of a, you know, dumpsters. Yeah. And now they're going to be living out of dumpsters. Right. Yeah. And they they ain't going to know how to do it. And I'm I'm like, well, I'm I'm. I'm the man. Yeah, right. I can teach you. Right. I've been through boot camp, and now this is war. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Hey, what's up, up? How are you doing? I'm good. Eric. I'm Mike. How are you doing? Good. And in case you didn't get my name, my name's Andrew, too. Is that my brother-in-law? Short for Michael? Yes. Okay. Yep. That's a Bible name. It I'll is. remember that. <laughs> the Archangel. Right. It means who is like God. That's right. That's right. The Bible says that there is none That's right. But I want to say this before I go to the pier and hang out with God. All right. 
Matthew 24. The disciples took Jesus to the side and said, two questions. Yeah. When will these things be? And, and what will be the time of your coming? Right. It depends on the version, but it don't matter. Right. And he said, he said this. He said, be careful that no one deceive you. Many will come in my name and say, I'm the Christ and will deceive many. Now that means two different things because Jim Jones came in his name and he called himself Christ. But there's, there's Antichrist, okay? Right, many of them. And he said, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but be careful that no one deceive you. You will hear of earthquakes and 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 in various places. All right, that ain't. I don't think that's happened yet. It did actually happen, uh, but it, it could that, happen that, any that, time. What Jesus was talking about was not his return. He was talking about his coming in judgment. He, Correct. The, the, the context was Correct. destruction of the temple. Correct. Uh, and all those things occurred. When we read about like blood moons and the stars yeah. on from heaven and stuff like that, when we read the Old Testament, if we read in the Book of Isaiah, that exact language was used in the destruction of Babylon, which was destroyed. Yes. When we hear about the Correct. Son of Man coming on a cloud, when we read in Isaiah 19 of Yahweh coming on a cloud okay. in judgment of Egypt. You know, coming on a cloud is judgment language. And all yeah. those, that generation did not pass away until all those things were fulfilled. When he right. says, when you hear about wars and rumors of wars, he said that during the Pax Romana. Yeah, he said that the time ain't, ain't yet. He says, but here is the sign. When you see the abomination that makes desolation that causes desolation which is uh which what which division which uh luke defines as when you see jerusalem surrounded by armies that makes desolate you know so when we look at yeah. matthew mark and, and luke the synoptic gospels in connection with one another when we come to those parts are a bit hard to understand it's like i don't understand this and everything then the other ones kind of clarify it for us true and it, the, the abomination that makes desolation you know i'm sure you know that that comes from the from Dan Daniel chapter 9 um, in reference to the, the 70 weeks and during the si yes. 69th week yes. you know the weeks they add up to 490 years uh, I'm not sure. 490 years <laughs> I don't know what that was that was something else yeah, that was <laughs> 400, 490 years well, from the time of the construction of, of the temple uh, to, uh, to the death of Jesus Christ, Jesus died in the middle of the 69th week. And so but when that happened, okay. the, 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 the Israel had finished their transgression. They had you know, made, it, made atonement for sin. Jesus being that atonement, they had made, finished their transgression. They had done the final sin that cast judgment upon them. You know, Jesus gave the parable of like the tenants and oh, yes. uh, the son and everything. Yes. And it, Jesus says, you know, and they and they killed the and son. The, and, and the sheep and the goats. Right, that, right. That was but, part of it. But, but uh, when he says about the tenants, he said, uh, you know, they, they stoned, they killed some and they beat others in reference to the prophets. And it's like, I'll send my son and I'll show that respect to him. And then they killed the son and threw him out. It's like, ah, now the inheritance is ours. And he said, what do you think that the owner of the vineyard is going to do when he comes back? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. he's going to judge those rebels. He's going to knock them all out. And he's like, you're right. And just, and just so the kingdom is taken away from you and it's going to be given to others. And they perceived that that parable was against them, that generation. God will take away, in the Old Testament, God will take away from the heathen to give to the righteous. And Abraham believed. And it's counted him as righteous. And it was accounted to him as He wasn't perfect. No. He, he sinned all the time. But God is going to face me. And I'm in the door. And I know that. And nobody can tell me. You know, I walk up to somebody with a knife to my neck. And it, it happened. And I'm, I'm like, go ahead. Go ahead. You're going to hell and I'm going to heaven. Go ahead. Do me a favor. This place is crap. And and, and they're like, yeah. And they walked away. Right. They walked away because that was God speaking through me to him saying, 
don't send yourself to hell. You know, I mean, basically, that's what he was saying. But, um, but my God, Jesus, right? Because in the Old Testament, he calls him Almighty God, right? And a lot of names, right? Uh, shall supply all my needs. According to his riches through Christ Jesus. Christ. Right. And I go to God at the beach and I say, God, in Jesus' name, right. hear me out. And I vent sometimes. I get ticked off at, at the world and I let it out. And you know what's funny? He allows it because he wants the, he wants the truth out of my heart. He don't want fake, right? And when I say God, I don't look this. Knock it off, because me and God are friends. Right, but the more we know God, and I understand that the the aspect of venting and everything, but we always need to speak to God reverently. Well, yes, yeah. of course, you know, of course, we we got to have reverence. Yes, right. But, we should, we should but he, that he, he wants honesty. Certainly. Yeah. But we also need to be getting conformed to the point that we do understand, Lord, not my will, but your will be but done. But your will be done. Exactly. The Garden of Gethsemane. Exactly. Yes. And I say it. I say it all the time. I'm like, you know what? I'm all right. I let it out. Your will be done. And he said, "Come unto me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest." And after I vent, I say, "All right, God, I'm weary and heavy laden. I need rest." You know what he does? He knocks me out, and I have a good dream. No cops bother me. Uh, no security bothers me. I go where I'm supposed to go. You know, it's it's not my will anymore. You know, I mean, I, I tonight I'm going to the pier. Last night I didn't go to the pier. I went somewhere else uh, by Vinoy. Okay. I went to sleep, and nobody bothered me, and I slept for eight hours. Wow. Wow. I was protected, and I went through such a hard battle. And I remember, I don't know what prophet it was, Ezekiel, I think, and he was surrounded by the enemy. Uh, Elijah. Elijah. Yeah. That's the name of my uh, little son. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's, he's a, a miracle of God. That's what that means. Yeah. And uh, so I laid down and I said, I said, God, I am weary and heavy laden, and you're not a man that you should lie. Right. <laughs> but not a man that should change his mind. Yeah. Right. So let me lay down, and, 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 and he passed me out. I was out. I was out. And I woke up at uh, about 11 o'clock. Sun was up and everything, and I was like yawning, and I'm like, dang, this is better than a hotel room. Right. Because I got God. Right. Not a hotel room owner. You know what I mean? Right. It's better to sleep on the dirt with Jesus than to sleep in a palace without him. You know, that's, that's certainly true. I don't want a mansion. I got one waiting for me. Right. <laughs> you know? And we want to bring as many people there as we can. That's, I, you know, I try, but you know what's funny? I, I deal with the homeless people. I'm homeless. Right. I'm street homeless for six and a half years. God has taken care of me every single day. And I, 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 I give them advice, and they don't take it. Right. And I'm like, you know, have you ever felt like you're wasting your time? Actually, no, because I come from the perspective that God will get the glory. You know, whether people well, he's listen, gonna get he's going to get the glory. But, like, whether people listen or they don't, the word of God will not return void. It will accomplish no, his purpose. It, yeah, you're right. His purpose may be 
judgment for some, and it may be salvation for others. Uh, and I pray, for, right. I pray you also for the salvation. Yes, right. and I can't, you know, I just, I throw it out there, and I let God, uh, it, it, you know, whatever sticks, sticks. Right. And, and he it's guides the seed. Yeah. To, to figure it out. Um, and worship him for all eternity or are you going to find yourself in the lake of fire suffering yeah. as a result Drew. of your sin alright I'm running out of gas right. um, but it's good to meet you I, I, I want um, to go uh, to the fishing area yeah. and the whole atmosphere is, is it's nice over there you know Jesus was hanging out with fishermen Right. You know, and I became, uh, I pretty much became like, like him, you know, just, just love, love, hang out with fishermen. And I asked somebody last night, no, the night before last, I said, you had any luck? And they're like, no, not really. You know what I said? The same thing Jesus said. Go on the other side. If you want to get out of and they it, caught a huge... You gotta cry out to Jesus. They caught a huge fish like that. I don't know what fish it was, but they were freaking huge. And that was food. Right. And, you know, so I act... You know, I, I don't try to act like Jesus. I try to live like Him. But... I've been homeless for such a long time. I know all these people that have been homeless for the same time I have, and there's no change. And I'm like, I'm wasting my time. You know? Yeah, no, I, I hear you. I want to go. I want to go to the, the the beach and start talking to sit down next to somebody and just chill and get you know. Uh, I mean, I've, I've seen many people change from my piano. I play piano. Oh, neat. I sing. And I wrote my own songs. Oh, neat. Yes. And it's called He Chose to Die. And that's about... He is choosing to die. Yeah. Do you mind if I sing it to you? Go for it. All right. <laughs> because this is my my testimony this is his story and my story combined okay. and when you get to the chorus it's both combined and without him I am nothing <laughs> I don't even know if I'm ready for this but I'm going to do it anyway America has been given over to her sin America has been given over to her. Because I'm tired of thinking about what other people think about me. Yeah, that's important. Yeah. yeah. There is no social anxiety disorder. I'm delivered. There is no depression. I'm delivered. He delivered. He, by his stripes, we're healed. Correct? All right. So, uh, here it goes. And I ain't worried about him. He, he's not going to distract me. But here he goes. Because I remember the times when I was so lost and deep within. I cried, Lord, deliver me. Because I was lost and all alone. You said today. my prodigals come home. Christ, the Lord. That's when you when ran to me and found me on my knees. Because I cannot repay what they have done to me. Then the only man place to turn is to King Jesus. Hey, he is the only one that can save you. He's the only one that can deliver you. He's the only one that can give you ever. You gave your life away. He's the only one. Just for me. That can love you the and way you, that and you, you, you <laughs> chose to die. Many people in the world today so I can be set free. In all the wrong places. But and we now, see love demonstrating, here's, demonstrated in here's God's Jesus, part. The Lord. 
But then you came into my life again. I'll never be the same since then. Your mercy and grace has brought me through. And it won't be too long before I stand before you with your song in my heart. I'll sing it right back to you. Because I cannot repay the wrong he's done. There's nothing I can do to earn your son. If any man come after me, you gave let his life deny away just take for up me. His cross and follow me daily. He chose to die. So I can be set free. And then go on and live your life. He as chose if you to were die. A, a wicked man. If he you're to die. Jesus, the Lord, the and here's the kicker. No then live God is not without well me. With us. If we claim to know him, and yet we reject yeah, very him, good. And we live like the devil. He died so we can live with him forever. I'm into Jesus. that. And, uh, and church, nobody, underst <laughs> nobody understands in. it. And that's you. You, <laughs> right you know, it, it makes me cry sometimes. You need to get right with nobody God. understands you need to know. that. Yeah. Like Galatians, Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. There is a yes. There is a song by Phillips, Craig, and Dean, and it says, uh, "I am crucified with Christ." Hold on, let me get it. I got like a built-in iPod. I know, Notice, what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Very good. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. Today is the day of oh, yes. Salvation. There it is. Today there it is. is the day Thank of you. deliverance. Today is the day of new beginnings. Because I am crucified said, with Christ. And yet Christ, I am. He is a new creation. Not in the Christ that lives within me. And then it, 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 it goes on, you know, and there's a lot of songs I know on the piano, like Cast right. a Crown, right, right. Uh, uh, Colin Ray, he's country, but he's not like twang, like yeehaw, and right, right. Uh, John Deere, spray paint the bypass, you know, and he's not, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, but I, I, I just go off on the piano, and, my whole life was set down for a second over this uh, Corona thing. Right. And, you know, maybe God's testing me. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm comfortable. I'm content. I'm like, bring it on. What else? Atomic bomb? Okay. Well, then it's over. <laughs> you know? Right. Jesus changes everything. He can change you from the inside out. There is one song that I know that I, I, I sing to him by myself at the pier. Right. And I'm, I, I want to sing this, and I want you to think about it. It's a country song, but it's not a country song. It's Colin right. Ray, and he's a Christian, but he makes more money doing, you know, and some people go for the money and whatever, but it's it's a good message. It's called uh, In This Life, mm -hmm. and it's, it's it could be for, a, a, it could be, could be a love message to to a, a woman you're with, Mary, or it could be a message, you know, back to God. But I'll I'll I'll, I'll throw it at you real quick, and then I'm, I want to go to the pier, okay, and just kind of take not a nap, but just kind of chill. Hopefully there's waves. <laughs> That's when it's good. Oh yeah. But um. For all I've been blessed community of Bible believing Christians who live by every word of God. You see, Jesus changes everything. It doesn't matter what you've done in this life. When you I wasn't risen by 
the power of gold. One on his head, you set me free. Let the world stop turning. Let the sun stop burning. Let them say Jesus changes everything. That right home. It can turn you around from being a hell If it all falls apart, into a heaven bound, I will know of deep in my heart. Of God, give your the life only to Jesus, thing man. that matters has come true. Am I laughing, scoff today? It's in this life. But you will give I will before the God of all creation. The Bible says you must be born again. Very good. Very good, yeah. Says, and thou shalt confess with thy mouth for the Lord every Jesus, mouth and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved, every for with the heart man cross. believeth unto righteousness, and you with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You were the treasure I hold my full life in the Lord. You can't yeah, find yeah. apart from Jesus Christ the Lord. Love. When you give life. your life to He's Jesus, gonna grab something real quick. you have a Bible? Bible? You're fine. Do you have a Bible? Jesus, um, no well, it keeps getting stolen from me. Yeah. Got another one. Maybe that's a good idea. Just wait right here. I got a Bible for you. I'm gonna grab it real quick. You want to give you a Bible? That sounds, that sounds good. Christ yeah. I get stolen from a lot. Right. From homeless people. But you know what? I figure I know enough of the word um, that I don't need one. I'm not desperate. But you know, we, we you know, but anybody without a physical copy of God's word, we love to give give one to you. And, yeah. And now, because be your mind. There you go. Be your mind in what yeah. God has said. Because you know, our minds they can you know forget and twist things, and you know yeah. it's always good. It's like, what does the word say? Yes, right. there it is. But everything I have in my heart is 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 to me good enough. But I I would love to get more. Right, because you know we're commanded I mean? desire the spiritual milk of the word like newborn babes. You know? That's right. Yeah. The meat of the word. Right. Not John 3.16. That's the milk of the word. That's the It can be meaty when we go into it, but yeah, yeah. just but more than just a superficial understanding. It's like, let's dig into this. Let's eat the word of let's God. Do it. So let's right. devour let's it. Let's get her done. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I, I've had maroon or black. It don't matter. That one's black. There you go. It don't matter. The best Bible is the one you read. It's, it's, <laughs> I don't care. I want a golden cover. <laughs> no. Nothing else will do. <laughs> but I don't, I don't, honestly, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to last before it's stolen. But you know what's funny? Is when it's stolen, maybe they need it more than I do. And that might be God's will in there, you know, and for that them might to take be, it. You know, so I say, hey. yeah. And you know what you do? You know what you do with the police? Is this is what I did uh, with 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 God? All right. You know what you do with the police? You surrender. Surrender to the Lord. And then you know what you do with the Lord? Surrender. Surrender. And it's the same thing. So you're you're dealing with with the law, or you're dealing with grace. Right. Surrender. Give up. Grace and mercy, or the law. And it's just people don't. They're not listening to me. They're not listening to me. So just keep keep reading scriptures, pray, and just you know be led by God and yeah. Share with the scripture in every opportunity you can. It's been nice talking to you, Eric. Yes. Um, I hope you have a good night. Be and safe. thank you. We're going to get back to uh, holding up our go, signs. Yeah, go for that. People, yeah, there you go. Right. Hope to see go you around. Yeah. If you see us around, be sure to stop by. Okay. We're out here every Wednesday night. I'm all on your side, man. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. God bless. Lord. Yeah, no worries. No harm, no foul. Right. <laughs> Great I'm, city. I'm, uh, you know what? I'm probably going to go down there and, and find a light or eat, you know, find something. Oh, praise the Lord. All right. You know? God bless and it's going to stick. Right. All right. God bless, All right. God bless you, Eric. Yeah. All men everywhere Oop. repent. That's exactly what he means. It doesn't matter where you find yourself in the world tonight. Okay. God commands yeah. you to repent. Very nice. There's coming.
coming a day of judgment. There's coming a day of wrath. And the only way for you to, to avoid this wrath, you got to get right with God. you got to get right with God. Tonight's the night to get right with God. The only way you can get right with God, you must be born again. He said he was on your own on of the gospel of I mean, Jesus Christ the like Lord. It's, it's time that we start yeah. teaching this in the school system again. It's time that we start yeah. shouting this from the yeah, very top of our yeah. lungs yeah. in every corner of this world. Like Jesus Christ is yeah. Lord. I'll see him again. I'll, I'll Jesus Christ yeah. is Lord. Resources right and now. you can yeah. say that tonight and believe it and know it in your heart of hearts in the deepest depths of your soul. Yeah. If you know God and God knows you, then you should be very confident tonight because it says in God's word that no man can say that Jesus is Lord but by the Holy Spirit. That's why right. today is the day of salvation. For the Lord I think I'm going to go Jesus go flat here because he's salvation. in the dark. You know, we can see we're him now. talking about repentance. Oh, okay. We're talking about a change oh, of life. Car we're lights go by. Change change of of life. Life. True. We're talking about a change of heart. I think I'll just go stand with him if he's not alone. Yes, he's not alone. Of their sin, but they love God. We're talking about people who have repented of their sins and get right with God. We're talking about people that are willing to deny themselves. The Bible says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me. The life of a Christian, folks. Hey, how are you doing? The life of a crucified life. You're not getting necessarily be wealthy if you're a Christian. But let me tell you something. You'll be wealthy with things out of this world. Think about the glory of the kingdom of God. God commandeth all men everywhere to repent and for good reason. There's coming a day of reckoning. Know this, Jesus is returning again real soon. Just as he said, there's going to be a resurrection. There's going to be a resurrection. There's going to be a resurrection of life. That includes every, every man, woman, and child from the beginning of time who are born-again Christians. They're going to rise to everlasting life with the God of all creation. And yet there are people that are going to be raised to judgment where they're going to stand before God and give an account for themselves apart from Jesus Christ the Lord. And there will be but only one decree apart from me, ye workers of iniquity. Now think about that. If that doesn't bother you, if that doesn't trouble you, then you might need to go to the doctor and find out if you're feeling okay because it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Today is the day of salvation. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Oh yeah. Glad me. Good job. Final report? Yes, yes. Can you see me? Yep, yep you're, you're right in frame. All right. So uh, tonight, I didn't really feel very good starting out. I went to the doctor today to get a checkup, and uh, 
have some good and bad news, but to God be the glory, he has all these things covered in his loving care. And uh, I want to talk about it in all things. But uh, so I came out here tonight with my daughter, Caitlin. She went out. She had a great time to me some dinner. We went to Chick fil A and got a nice salad. And it was a time together. And I was nice. came out here to meet the fellows to, to see about some evangelism tonight. And let me tell you something. It was well worth yeah, every drop of sweat that we uh, dropped tonight. Yeah. A lot of people come that have heard the good message of the gospel. A lot of people have come and gone, but there's a lot of people that have been listening to what we've been talking about. And uh, we're just hoping and praying that God will do a mighty work in our lives. We're not the ones that save anybody. Uh, for salvation is of the Lord from start to finish. But I'll tell you what, each and every night we come out here and finding that we're all getting better at this preaching and we're all getting to be better, more refined uh, fishers of men. And uh, I tell you what, God did the glory for me. But if we don't save anybody, it's all, all of the God. Salvation is God. I can't say that enough. I'm going to say that again, as much as I've said it before, it's an absolute privilege being out here and ministering with my friend, new friend, uh, Vladimir, and with my family. What a joy it is to not only have a great family, but to... Uh, to be ministers of the gospel together. God's raised us up. God's brought us together as evangelists, as pastors, as teachers, uh, for his glory, for his honor, for his praise. We're in the process now of uh, uh, furthering a uh, work that God's given us, and that is uh, House Church Fellowship. And in this, we continue to make great strides. We're doing a lot of things. There are a lot of things that are becoming that we're not going to talk about just yet. But uh, we're developing a lot of things for the glory of God. God's doing a mighty work on us. He's bringing us together. We're finding out that we all have uh, great talents, skills, and abilities. And we're all working together for the glory of God. And we're hoping and praying that uh, much more would be done. What a joy it is to be faithful to the Lord. You know, if you've ever never come out to preach the gospel, I would tell you, there's nothing like uh, getting, you, getting you wound up than coming out and preaching the gospel. Because it's so rewarding. It's such a loving thing to do uh, with this community that doesn't know the Lord. It's so rewarding and satisfying. It's unlike anything that you could ever find in this life. Now I think about all the times that we've gone out and we have done fun things and we've gone swimming and we've gone hiking and canoeing and all these things, but nothing compares to being masters of the gospel and preaching God's word. And I, my hope and prayer that we could do this the rest of our lives until our last breath. All for the glory of God. So I'm going to pass this off to whoever's coming up next to uh, do a little sign off tonight. Oh, and nobody else? Okay. So we are done for tonight. Uh, to God be the glory. Uh, see you next time.